I mean, how many palaces does one person need, really? A bit of blowy morning this morning. I'm in Otford in Kent. Lovely, lovely, lovely little village. Bit of a path through road though on the A225. I'm going to show you around this village and specifically Otford Palace. We're in the Darren River Valley. This is the famous pond, which is listed. That there, that little structure, is apparently the smallest listed building in England. Now, the reason I've come back here is I really want to look at the palace, as I say. When my friend Paul and I were walking the North Downs Way a couple of years ago, obviously we were on a walking tour, so we didn't really stop to explore places. There's places, things here that I really want to look at, which we didn't have time to do. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at St Bartholomew's Church, the ancient St Bar Bartholomew's Church. And then we'll walk down to the palace and uh, show you that, the old Tudor Palace. Let's go. It's a lovely old door, look at that. That's amazing, it really is amazing. I don't think it's used though, because um, it's a cobweb on it. church has got a Norman origins so it's very very old I think a lot of it is Victorian as they all are <laughs> lots of renovation going on yeah but Norman founding I think the the tower is part Norman but most of it is a Victorian uh, facade but uh, it does look a little bit Norman it's a lovely you A lot of the trees have got little notes on. Give your burdens, to, give your burdens to the Lord, and He will take care of you. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Unfortunately, you've got the constant hum of the A two two five passing through nearby, and the M twenty five is not too far from here, so it's got to live and lump it really, haven't you? So there you go, just a little tour around St Bartholomew's and now we're going to head down to uh, Otford Palace. Let's go. It's amazing, some of these old cottages, which have been workmen's cottages back in the day, now probably go for a million plus pound. <laughs> How things change. Here we go, Otford Palace, or also known as the Archbishop Palace. It used to be the home of the Archbishops of Canterbury going back to Saxon times. Magnificent, magnificent ruin. Let's take a look. So from Anglo-Saxon times right up until like 1520, this was occupied as a site of residence for uh, Archbishops of Canterbury. And this, this site was huge, I mean, absolutely huge. It was supposed to rival Hampton Court, Nonsuch Palace, which is down my way. And it's amazing. And there's now cottages along here. As you can see, some cottages that people live in. Fantastic. Grand fireplace there. Both levels, actually. No, I mean, this was the size of a football pitch, this place. The history of people who've come through here. 
Henry VIII came here with Catherine of Aragon, I believe. Henry VIII actually did come here. I think it was given to him because he liked it so much. I mean, how many palaces does one person need, really? Although none such palace was finished after he had died, so he never really saw that. So, yeah, just inside here. Tiny little door, look at that. I do get asked on these videos why I don't talk about these paranormal claims of some of these places and uh, if they're haunted or not. Well, as everyone sort of knows, I do hark on about it. I don't think anywhere is haunted. I think your spirit exists. It's everywhere. Why do you have to come into an old ruin to find a ghost or a spirit or something? Just go down to someone else's house, you know. A lot of my friends who are raw psychics just see stuff all the time out and about, you know, and they're just used to it. So yes, I don't think anywhere is haunted. There was um, claims of this being active, but maybe it is. I say so could uh, so could anywhere. Amazing place. Let's have a little walk around the. I think you can walk around the perimeter. Let's have a little walk around. Uh, we'll go this way. Lovely old door. Here you go. Look at this. All these blocked up doors next to a modern door. A blocked up door here. I assume it was a door. Once again, quite low. Just think about that for a second. Some of us have been on this site for 1500 years. Occupation, 1500 years, something has been here, a structure of some description. As a filmmaker, it's really frustrating today. The sun keeps coming in, cloud comes over, goes in, comes out, goes in, comes out, goes in. So sorry for the inconsistency with the picture. Can't be helped. <laughs> An idea of the scale. This here is where the ruins are and the cottages. And look at the scale of the whole thing. There was a moat here, gatehouse, chapel, amazing. Yep, someone's mowing the lawn. <laughs> cool, so I'm filming. Cool, someone's mowing the lawn. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this little trip to uh, Otford Palace. Magnificent ruin in Kent. We're about three miles north of Seven Oaks and about seven miles south of Dartford. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, if you've liked the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you've been here or know a little bit more. Much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Take care.